What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to clone your Batasara hard drive. This method will work whether you are using a USB flash drive, an SSD, or a mechanical hard drive. Before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. This is a 256 gig USB flash drive with a Batasara build on it. It's got over 6,000 retro games installed. I put this build together myself. Uh, I want to clone it to a 500 gig SSD and install it on a mini PC. After I clone it, I will resize the partition so I can use all the extra hard drive space on the SSD. This will allow me to add more games to the Balasara build in the future. The program I'm going to be using to clone the drive is Belena Etcher. To get it, you just head over to its webpage and simply download it for free. Once you install it, you're going to open it up and click Clone Drive right here. Then I'm going to select the source drive I want to clone or make a copy of. That would be this one. And then I hit select. And now I'm going to select the blank hard drive, the 500 gig SSD. Which is that one right there. So that's the blank one. Hit select. Then you're going to hit flash right here. It's going to ask if you're sure. You're going to put yes, I'm sure. If you get this Windows command processor message, just click yes. Then you're just going to let it do its thing. This will take a while, so grab a cup of coffee and relax. When it says flash completed, the process is done. Now I should be able to boot up into Balasara with the 500 gig SSD. Okay, so I restarted my PC. I'm just using my main PC now just to test it. I'm in my boot menu and I'm gonna select the new drive with Balasara on it and see if it boots up and works. All right, it did work, which is great. However, when I go into settings, it's still showing up as a 256 gig drive, but I installed it on a 500 gig drive. So I need to expand the partition. This way I'll be able to add more games later on if I want to on this drive. So first I'm gonna shut down Batasara and quit it. Okay, now I'm going to go into back into Windows and plug the Batasara hard drive in. And as you can see here, you can see the drive. There it is. And all I have to do is click this last file here. That's the only one you have to touch. This is the config file. So you want to double click it and open it. And the only thing you have to do here is remove the hash sign before the word auto resize. So I'm just going to remove it right here. And then I want to make sure I save it. Click X. And then I'm going to reboot into Batasera. And now you can see here, it is resizing the partition. Now 
Now we should see the full size of the SSD when I check the settings. And yeah, it worked. Now I have more room to add more games, which is great. I think this process is pretty easy. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. That's going to do it for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.